this video is probably gonna tank because it is so niche, um, but I don't care because I'm just doing this for me. This is it on my face. It's so annoying. I don't like it. I'll just do the video like this. Hello everyone. <laughs> Hello everyone. It's another video with me, your favorite or not favorite YouTube personality. I never know how to start videos. This always happens. <laughs> I think we can all agree that 2020 was just a bad year overall, um, but I will say that at least one good thing did come out of it, and that is my obsession with Aaron Sorkin's The Newsroom. Does the show have its problems? Yes. Do I still love it an unhealthy amount? Also, yes. You guys, it's, it's such a good show. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's a good show. I'm very bad at talking about the things I like. I just basically, I'm like, it's good, okay? Just like, it's good. <laughs> but anyway, I thought that a good way to profess my love of the newsroom to the internet is to dress up as the different characters. I guess it's a lookbook. I don't know. I'm not really that fashion forward, so I don't understand fashion, so. <laughs> but I am an actor, so I do understand costumes. So without further ado, let's just dive into these funky, funky outfits. Also, I'm gonna be intercutting some clips from the show that I like, just cause I don't know, I feel like that enhances the video. So spoilies, oh my God, why did I say that? <laughs> oh. So spoilers for the newsroom, but if you heeded my advice in the beginning of this video, you've already watched it. So good, you don't need this warning. <laughs> Now, none of this is the fault of a 20-year-old college student, but you nonetheless are, without a doubt, a member of the worst period, generation, period, ever, period. So when you ask what makes us the greatest country in the world, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yosemite? Fun fact, in the first draft of the pilot, his last name was McAllister. You may find that fact fun. Or you may think, why the hell should I care? I hope you don't feel that way, but maybe you do, I'm sorry. Why don't you attack this woman? She doesn't seem that threatening to me. She's incredibly threatening. My life is in constant danger when she's around. I'm Lonnie Church. Mackenzie McHale. Attack. For the majority of the show, Will is basically just in a suit and I didn't really want to wear a suit, so I chose to do sort of a Will off the air type look. I think usually when he's not in a suit, he's wearing like a button down with a sweater over it. So I kind of did that. I took this nice sweater that I already have and underneath it, I put this fake collar insert. Ooh, spicy. Then I paired it with some nice light wash blue jeans because Men wear jeans. <laughs> 220,000 is good. It's very good. Is there such a thing as 221,000? This is gonna be a long seven months. No, it's gonna be great. You know why? Don't say it. I'm gonna be in charge of morale. And I also wore these funky leather boots that I got for Christmas and they're very jingly. It's going to become increasingly obvious as this video goes on that I have no idea how to model. So just look at the clothes and nod at me if you can. I also had a little prop cigarette that I made myself out of paper and oil pastels. It's very obvious that I have never smoked in my life. <laughs> hey, we got Obama. Uh, uh, Bin Laden. Shh, look, I got that one out of my system. Jim, Jim, Jim. Jim, you have a hold button. Hold please. Jim. that I like about Maggie is her character arc throughout the show. Slowly over the course of the show, she becomes a much more self-assured and confident and competent person. And I really just appreciate that in female characters and in characters in general. Freedom won and not a bullet was fired. Let this day be recorded in the- The flies unzipped. I'm not sure how I feel about new confident Maggie. Along with her personality, I would say that Maggie's clothes also change. So this is kind of more of a season one type look. Originally I was gonna wear like a blue dress and a black cardigan that I have, but then I was out with my parents shopping and I saw this dress in a store window and I went, holy shit, that's the same dress from the pilot. And um, I, I bought it. 
obviously. I decided to pair the dress with these black ballet flats because I don't really think Maggie wears heels and I also did a more subtle makeup look. Didn't you used to take showers with his chief of staff? John Webb? Yeah. We played tennis. And then took showers together? It's... I'm gonna make the call, but they're individual showers. Cool. For privacy. For my hair, I just had it sort of in a half up, half down style. I saw her wear this a couple times. I don't know if this is necessarily her go-to hairstyle. I say that like she's a real person, but anyway, it's the hairstyle. Maggie also wears some very nice dangly earrings. So I grabbed the most professional and minimal dangly earrings that I have. What is this magic box in front of me? Have I done something to you? I swear I was just thinking the exact same thing. I have no idea why I'm being mean to you. Now that you know that, do you think you'll stop? That's the thing, it doesn't feel like it. Not because you slept with Lisa, because you lied about Excuse it! Excuse me, this isn't soundproof gloves! I, for one, am very appreciative of the fact that the internet likes Dev Patel as much as I do. I'm gay and I even I recognize that he's hot. This has nothing to do with his character. Everyone's just so horny for Dev Patel. We've been dating for four months and I think that's too soon to meet her parents. That's like level three stuff, we're at level two. Can I get a ruling? Uh, when your conversation started in front of my desk, I was concerned that I'd been caught in the middle of something personal, but I can see now that I was worried for nothing. Out of all the men's outfits, this one might be the closest to my actual wardrobe. Like I wear cardigans and jeans occasionally, so it's slightly more masculine, but this is a standard outfit that I would wear. So for this outfit, I chose to use this gray button down that is probably the only button down shirt in my entire wardrobe that's in cycle. And also this lovely green cardigan. I was very excited to do Neil because I got to wear a cardigan. <laughs> What would you be making up? It wouldn't be true. It'd be something like, um, something along the lines of she screwed away to the top and she's got a big ass. Only it would have to be. Then I finished off the outfit with some black jeans and these black sneakers. I don't know how accurate they are. There aren't that many shots of people's feet in the show. So I didn't exactly have a lot of points of reference. So I kind of guessed. I also chose to add this lanyard on the top, which is actually what I use to hold my keys, but not for this outfit. And of course, no Neil costume would be complete without a flash drive that you possibly obtain from the inside of a toilet bowl. Besides the near certainty that intelligent life exists outside this planet, there are Are you of suggesting that we've made contact with beings from another planet? Is that your suggestion? You said way outside the box. Come back in the box. Miss Sabbath, a lady always buttons her top button. If you buttoned your collar on television, you would be a lady. If you spilled water all over your front, I would like that too a fan. I'm guessing that she's probably most people's favorite character and that's not to say that I don't love her. There's just one character that I like even more. I do have to say, I think I'm the most impressed with how this one turned out. I was like looking at myself in the mirror and I was like, oh my god, I really think I nailed it. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Just let me have this. <laughs> Mary, mother of God, am I sick of that insane analogy. Balancing your checkbook is to balancing the budget as driving at the supermarket is to landing on the moon. I did go thrifting for a few of the pieces in this video and I wasn't originally gonna wear a dress for Sloan, but then my mother on a whim found this dress while we were at Savers and now I am in love. It is like the tiniest bit too big for me, but to solve that problem, I just put a belt on it, which I think works because like, dressed with belt. I also wore these heels, which are not too crazy, and I will sometimes wear them to fancy things. Zane, I'm telling people where the fucking money comes from, and if you have a problem with that, you should speak to the president of the news division, Charlie Skinner. And if you ever lead me by the wrist of that newsroom again, I'm gonna take out each of your goddamn knuckles with a ball-peen hammer. For my makeup, I just did some eyeliner, and I don't know why I'm doing so many things with my eyebrows, but I, I guess that's in character. I also added these little stud earrings because I feel like she's wearing stud earrings most of the time. For hair, I sort of straightened my hair. It doesn't generally like to go all the way straight. 
there's a gay joke in there somewhere. But I don't think Sloane generally has like stick straight hair, so I didn't feel the need to straighten my hair to an excessive degree. <laughs> to round out the costume, I also included a blank piece of paper that I grabbed in a hurry as a prop. Drone strike. Can't understand what you're saying. You can too understand what I, Reuters. This is what I was talking about. United States predator drone strikes vehicle in Northwest Pakistan. Can I see that? It's blank piece of paper. I left the wire report in my office and on the way here I decided I wanted a prop. You know what it says on a box of chocolate pudding mix? Caution, pudding will get hot when heated. Go to a hotel. You know what it says on the shower cap in the bathroom? Fits one head. You wear a shower cap? I read. I think Don is a super underrated character. He has some really good comedic moments. Kind of starts out the show as a bit of a dick, but by the end, I really liked him. All of the guys in the show wear button downs, but with Don, I think he tended to wear more plaid slash flannel type tops. So that's what I did. I had this green flannel in my closet and I wore it. welcome presence in our home. It's all about locating your inner cha and not tripping over any cable. Do you have to be talking right now? Have you located the cha? Exactly how we make our projection. So we're going to show you. I matched that with these black skinny jeans and these black boots. I found a picture and it kind of looked like he was wearing like lace up boots. So I was like, yes, I am justified in this choice. While I do feel that I've represented the character quite well, uh, altogether, this did end up looking more like a country farmhand outfit than a newsman, <laughs> but it still works. It's fine. Can you consider us a couple? I don't understand that question. Yeah, you do, because this is exactly how I act in the same situation. Suddenly I pretend I'm stupid and hearing impaired. Do you consider us a couple? Do you consider us a couple? I do that too, Socrates. I wanted to use like a headset as a prop because, you know, he's the executive producer, uh, but I didn't have a headset, so I just wore these giant headphones. I also decided that I needed to moonwalk for some reason. Don Kiefer. Yeah. How would you and Elliot Hirsch like to have one of the debates? Eat me. Can you handle Brian being here a little while longer? I can handle anything. Jellyfish. I don't like jellyfish. I absolutely adore the character of Mackenzie. I mean, like, what's not to love? She's smart, she's British, she's unnecessarily violent. Why did you do this? Hey! What is wrong with you? I've been waiting two days to hit you. And it also probably helps that I think Emily Mortimer is one of the most beautiful and talented actresses that has ever lived. I mean, what? No, what did you say? Oh, you didn't say anything? Cause this is a YouTube video and I'm alone in my room and slowly going crazy. I wouldn't say that season three is my favorite season just because I like the storylines of seasons one and two better and the mix between dramatic and comedic. But I will say that the best part about season three is the fact that Will and Mac are finally together. They're, They're America's, America's dream, dream couple. couple. Our portrait Buzzfeed has 81,000 followers. How many do you have? One, him. She's funny. I like her jokes. So for Mac, I chose this fancy polka dot business blouse because she wears a lot of nice blouses and some pretty colors and I like it. And I also wore this gray pencil skirt. Now usually I don't like pencil skirts or really anything that is like body con to my hips because I have hip dips and I'm very self-conscious, but I did it for you, Mac. Did it for you. I also wore these black stilettos that I stole from my mom. And all I have to say about that is, how do people walk in stilettos? Like I wear heels, but those were difficult. My personal favorite part of this outfit is the necklace. I did some like cursory Google searching and found the real necklace, but it was $1,250. So I bought this $30 one on Etsy. I like wearing it cause it makes me feel like I'm Mackenzie. I didn't really notice until right before filming, but Mackenzie does kind of wear like these little mini gold hoops. 
and uh, I don't have those, so I wore these little gold squares instead. As for the makeup, I kind of tried to do a smoky eye type thing just because she wears some nice eyeshadow looks, but all this did was cement the fact that I don't know how to do eyeshadow. Also for MAC, I straightened my hair a bit more and tried to straighten down my little fringe things here, but that didn't really work out, and I also totally didn't burn my face with my flat iron. Nope, not at all. Also, you know I had to bring the headphones back. Such a good look. Wait, wait. Everybody watch this. There's nothing to watch. She has to subtract with her fingers. I don't have to. We were 17 seconds heavy on Bernanke, which means we had to squeeze Bill Crystal down to what? 2.13. And Will took tap dancing lessons when he was 11. Save it for another 10 seconds. What happens in 10 seconds? Just hang on for another five seconds and know that we've all been there at one point or another. What happens in five seconds? What in the name of holy fuck were you thinking about? One could argue that this outfit strays the most from the source material, uh, but I feel like it still works. Also, it may be the closest to the source material because in this one I'm actually kind of wearing a suit. I did not realize until I put these clothes on that I kinda look good in a power suit. I need to wear suits more often. You had a brand! I'm a Marine Don, I will beat the shit out of you! I don't care how many protein bars you eat! The lighting in the room I filmed this in was kinda weird, so it didn't necessarily show up on camera, but the button down that I'm wearing is pink and also thrifted. Two fun adjectives. <laughs> then on top of that, I wore this black blazer, which belongs to my mother, and also these black dress pants. I put them in quotes because they're kind of like a cross between leggings and real pants. They're stretchy office pants and I like them. Nobody's the bad guy though. If you call Will a whore again, I'm going to take out your teeth one punch at a time. Anything else? No, sir. Charlie's signature is that he's always wearing bow ties and I don't own any bow ties, so I decided to wear a choker instead, because that's a neck accessory. It really contributed to the power suit look, though. I also tried to groom my eyebrows in a fancy way, but let's be real, mine can't compare to Sam Waterston's. For shoes, I wore these lace-up heel things, which kind of look like dress shoes, but they aren't. And did you really think I was gonna make a video about the newsroom and not have some Don Quixote reference? You fool! It also isn't totally a different book with the picture of the cover tape to it. Would you wait for me a minute? Because that's how long it's gonna take before Reese calls saying that the family foundation for the foundation of families is threatening to boycott our advertisers unless Elliot stops being Jewish or something. Can I ask what? Other than that, was it a good show? Get out. All right. And thus concludes my newsroom lookbook. Safi has decided to join me. Safi, do you wanna say hello? No. Say hello. Go to hell. <laughs> I hope that this video was at least slightly entertaining, um, but you know what, it doesn't really matter because I had fun making it and that's the most important thing. If you enjoy my content, um, feel free to gently caress that like button <laughs> and also subscribe if you want to see more of my cat or my face or both. Also, bet you didn't know I was wearing a dress the whole time, whoa! All right. See you in my next video. Bye.